Today, we're bill hunting with your stimulus. Welcome to my channel, and today I want to do something a little bit different. I figured since a lot of us are cooped up in the house, maybe you got your stimulus check, and so let's do something a little bit different, and let's hunt for some $1 and $5 bills. Okay, some of the things we're going to be looking for are fancy serial numbers, star notes, older notes, and web notes. Okay, for some of us, here's a little background. Fancy serial numbers would be numbers that contain uh, dates, maybe like 2020 or 2019 at the very beginning or the very end, which might represent with the month and the day, you know, birthdays, special holidays, things like that that might mean something for some collectors. Then you have binary or trinary, where there's two different numbers throughout the whole serial number. And trinary would be if there's only three different numbers throughout the whole serial number. You might have a radar number, which is the first four are either the same as the last four or flipped in reverse, so they're a mirror image. You might have a ladder or a broken ladder. A ladder is a sequential number all the way through. Or a broken ladder might be all the digits, but they're mixed up in different order, which would show broken representation. Or maybe there's three zeros in a row, at three at the beginning or three at the end, just different types of pairings that would stand out and mean something for somebody that wants to collect it. Now we'll find star notes, and that has a little star at the end of the serial number. Some collectors might be in the older notes, and that would be, say, maybe 1999 and older. We'll also keep our eyes open for web notes, and those were 1988As, 1993, and 1995, where they tried a different technique in the way that they printed onto the paper. So with that little bit of information, let's go and unwrap some of these straps and see if anything pops out that might be, you know, cool to add to my collection. Okay, we grabbed your stimulus check. We went to the bank. We grabbed 500, so five straps of $1 bills and one strap of a $500 bundle of fives. And we'll dig through that as well. We'll see what we can find. So let's start. We'll go through the first stack. Okay, got the first strap open. We got $100. And uh, I think what I'll do is scroll through fast forward here and stop at any uh, interesting you know, notes that pop out. And I'm just gonna be checking serial numbers and the date. And depending on if we think it's a, a web note, then I'll verify it on the flip side too, you know, where this number is printed. But okay, let's do this. We'll go through and we'll just scan right by. Now stop on this one. It's kind of kind of cool. Almost had like a broken ladder kind of effect. You know, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Um, if we didn't have two zeros, it would all be you know individual numbers. There'd be no no pairs. It's kind of cool. Probably worth nothing. So we're gonna just kind of keep going through. But I thought I'd stop and and pull that out and show you guys. Okay, let's keep going. All right, cool. We'll stop on this one, too. You can tell, if you look at the number, we got 3330, 3203. So there's only three different digits, a 3, the 2, and a 0. So that's kind of a cool trinary. So pop this off to the side and look at that more later. All right, this one's kind of funny. If you're into the the six six six, um, yeah, I'll throw it off to the side, but not gonna keep it. Probably just throw it back in in the end. Now this one, not gonna keep it, but it's kind of interesting. Kind of shows you uh, as far as dates, like this. It could be two thousand, so the year two thousand. Um, Five, 
three, so like May third. Probably would have been better if the you know zeros in front of each of those. So May third of two thousand, maybe that's your birthday or anniversary or something. But it's not perfectly clean as far as the order numbers. Uh, I would just keep that one going. Toss that in with the the old pile to recirculate. Another one with our triple sixes. Take a picture of that later and then throw it back into the recycle bunch. Kind of cool with this one. If it every other digit was a nine, it would have been cool if that, that three was a nine. Then it might be, you know, kind of unique. But uh, in this case, eh, back on we go. This one would have been kind of cool if uh, the first digit was a one, be, then it would be like a one nine, one zero, one two, one nine, that kind of thing. But this one caught my eye, but nothing good. All right, here we go. This one has a little thickness on the ink there, but probably not enough to to be anything good. A lot of sixes, twos, kind of cool pairings. Uh, thought that that one got me. Thought that it might have been a tri uh, trinary again, but uh, no. Nah, there's four different digits in that one: six zeros, five sevens. Oh, darn that seven. Okay, here we go. That's kind of cool. This one actually has the digits where it's three nine, three eight, three one, three seven. Uh, I don't know if that's collectible or anything I'll look into it we'll pull that to the side <laughs> we got the 007 oh well here's another one with the a, a 1998 like if you're going for a date 1998 again May 8th May 8th, 1998. Uh, I'll put to the side, just take a picture of it, but uh, probably dump it back and recycle. Here we go. That's a whole lot of threes, but still four different digits, so it's not a trinary or a binary. Two, three, three, seven, three, three. Yeah, well, I don't think that's any good. Let's keep that one in the Recycle pile. Another 666. Six, six. Got a 999. Nine, nine. All right. That's the end of the first stack didn't find any star notes that's a bummer but uh, let's try our luck on the next stack all right and the next stack all right the second stack here of 100 kind of straightened up some of these reorganized them a little bit but uh let's see what we can find here we go This one could have been close to a radar. Or just repeat, we got 6779, 67. If those last two were 79 as well, or a 7 there, that would have been a nice one. But it's not, so it's crap. Anything, anything famous happened in 1864 on February 6th? Probably a little old so won't bother with that maybe anything useful in may 2nd 2011 kind of an old ratty bill and there's would have been cooler if there's the zero in front of each one um in front of the month and the day so i uh, probably not Okay, yay, our first one. 
we have our first let's see get this in there star note you can tell by the star there at the end so we got a zero one three one nine zero two nine so after this we'll run this through the database and we'll see uh what kind of series that that pops up into cool we'll put that to the side And continuing on. Almost kind of a broken ladder type thing here. We had a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Wait. So actually, I don't know if that's close to a broken ladder or is a broken ladder. It might just be garbage, but uh, I'll check that one out as well. Put that to the side. Trying to see that date. My eyes are a little bad. I don't know. Can we see it here at all? And that says 1981 or 91. I think that says 1981. If that's the case, hmm, that could be a cool older note. It's pretty good condition. So we'll put that to the side. We'll look into that later. Got a whole lot of zeros in that one, but, uh, no. <clears throat> For your luck, 777. And if you're into synthesizers, the bass 808, the 808 kick, or if you're just Hawaii, area code 808, uh, I'll go take a picture of it maybe later, but we'll end up putting that back in the recycle pile too. Oh, sitting there and not even looking. Look what we got here. We got another star note. Sweet deal. Zero nine zero one nine five two four eight three. We'll run that through uh, the database. See how that comes up. What kind of print runs they had for that? Cool. That's the second star. Keep them going. Right on. We got another star note, 01110681. Be cooler if there's more zeros at the beginning, meaning that the, the build was closer to the beginning of the print run. But awesome, another, another star. This one might have been some kind of broken ladder, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five. But we have two extra ones in there. I don't know how, again, I don't really know. Collectability of broken ladders isn't too much, but I'll put this to the side for now. Throw it back in the batch later. And the last one. Got a 1911 in there, if there's like a June 9th, 1911. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing fancy. Cool, well that's the last one for the second strap. Got a couple stars out of there. What do we get? We got two star notes, three star notes. Nice. Okay, I'll put that off to the side. On to our next strap. Okay, so here we are, we're at stack number three. Let's see what we can find here. Well, this one's interesting. Might be some kind of broken ladder, maybe. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a nine. So uh, hold on to that, and we'll see what's what. And if it's not collectible, then we'll put it back in the pile. I mean, I noticed like there on the four, ink's a little darker. Mm than the four there but <clears throat> I don't think that's a major print issue to make it collectible at all more triple sevens I don't know if there's anything important we got a, a date what February 8th 1936 yeah maybe a little I don't think anybody's birthday of anybody that'll be around right now so We got a 1964, um, is that May 4th, 1964? Uh, I'll throw this on the side just to, we'll check that date, see if anything, somebody might be around. So I don't know if this counts as a broken ladder. <clears throat> we got zero, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine so there's no doubles of numbers so that might be interesting or i could be off my rocker put that to the side it's almost a repeater six two three five six two nine five uh so close so close a teaser but a repeater almost That one would have been interesting with the threes. Uh, eight, three, seven, three, six, three, eight, oh, two. Bummer. Uh, I got some repeat combos in there. If that six, that first six, eight wasn't there, but anyway. Not real important, but uh, for the nerdy person, you got <clears throat> the all evens at the front, two, four, six, eight. Then you got all the odd, three, five, seven, nine, or three, seven, five, nine, but worth nothing. <laughs> and this one, I would have to double check, make sure it even has the same serial number on both of them. Yeah, but luckily, not worth it. There's a whole lot of fours in there. Nine, four, five, nine, four, three, four, five. But I don't think that's anything. All right, end of stack three. I don't think we got any star notes in that one. But, okay, take this one away. We'll go to stack number four. All right, here we go. All right, stack number four. A lot of nines in there, a lot of nines, but not. Nice, triple nines. And here's a case where the number gets shifted up. I forgot what they called that. I want to say something about a toilet, but <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, it's odd, but nothing beneficial for collecting. A lot of other pairs here. You know, 11, 0, 44, 7, 99, but not that great. Almost a uh, trinary 
830-18110. If it would have lost that three and got another zero or one or eight, that would have been nice. Uh, almost good reflection. <clears throat> we had a four nine two five, and then you reverse it five two nine eight. If that four eight would have uh, matched each other, that would have been a really nice one. But now it's not anything. Nice double o seven, double o six. This might be another uh, nice broken ladder. The numbers in there have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine with no repeat digits. So uh, I'll check that out to see what kind of ladder that might be if, if it's anything good. Now they're not, they're not uh, exactly mirrored, but the same four digits are the same as the last four digits, it's just different order. Five six eight four four five eight six. I don't think that's worth anything for collecting, but it was interesting nonetheless. Yeah, maybe a March first, nineteen fifty nine. I'll go see if anything exciting happened on that day. We'll put this to the side. If not, throw that back in the stack. Let it recycle back in with the rest. Oh, nice. That date there, 1974. Not a horrible condition either. So that's cool. Put that over on the keeper. And I think, is this a trinary here? We got four sevens and nines. Nine four 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 seven four nine nine. Cool. Good trinary at least. Not horrible condition. Probably doesn't count much that you can have a 420 at the end. Some people might use that dollar as their 420 dollar to roll, but eh. They'd probably steal it from me rather than pay a dollar anyway. Oh, that's a whole lot of fours and sevens. So four seven four zero four zero zero seven. At the very least, that's another trinary. Very cool. We'll keep that. Add that to the collection. A lot of twos. Two two one two two seven eight five, but mm, nope. Eight eight seven eight seven two four three, nope. Again, teasing that seven throws it all off. Zero two two one one two zero seven, almost a trinary, almost a trinary. Wait. And the last one for stack four. No stars in that one. Bummer. But that's cool. I think we got a few few things in there. So that's all good. I like this 1974. Cool. All right. Our last. Number five. Our last strap of $1 bills. Okay, we're on our final strap, $500 of $5 bills. So let's unwrap this baby and see what we got. Okay, we have the $500 strap of $5 bills. Now let's see what kind of luck we can get out of this guy.
And you have anything that happened on April 24th, 1907? Or how about <clears throat> February 4th, 1907? Um, I'll throw that to the side. At least to give me something to do later to look that up. <clears throat> Sorry. Nineteen seventy, February seventh. Uh, we'll, might as well just do a date check and then throw it back into the stack when it comes up empty. Well, let's see what we got here. It says five eight five four eight five five eight. That looks like a good trinary. Cool. Add that to the stack. If you're looking for your 666 and $5 bills, there's that one. Nineteen twenty, February 5th, 1920. Yeah, probably a little too old. Uh, 2003 almost got into that older note range for us, but uh, nope, that's the different style of five, but it's all jaggedy, not very clean, not even worth collecting for that aspect of your collection. Whole lot of fives and sixes in there. Coming down to the wire. Oh, nice. So we got a six, four, four, six, six, four, four, five. Now, even though it's not, you know, one more there, that would have been a, you know, binary, just all six and fours. That would have been cool. Even more so, it would have been like a, a radar a mirrored image six four four six six four four six but uh so close we're just one bill off but anyway it's still a trinary so that's still a keeper for the collection so throw that to the side see if the last handful here anything fun comes out of it down to the last one and it's not a So we got, there's the stack of $500 in fives. All right, so here's what we pulled from uh, these six straps of, of money, our stimulus of $1,000 here. So uh, it's kind of cool. We got a one binary, you know, a couple uh, trinaries, and two of them are in our $5 notes. Uh, got couple that are just eh, cute numbers might have to throw those back in got a couple more that ooh the 666 or the 777 again just cute probably throw those back in um we got a couple that are date based at 1998 1959 1964 and then we got a couple on the fives as well we have ladders some broken ladders. I'll have to double check and see if they're too broken. Um, then also we get, can't forget uh, we got a 1990 note. I mean, sorry, 1999 note. We even got a 1981A note. And our oldest one is a 1974. Nice. And then the three I have to go check out on the computer now is we got a few star notes. So I'll go check that up. I'll throw it up on the graphic right up there or something. Okay, a little post wrap up here for you. I'm going to end up throwing back some of these uh, little cutesy bills with the 666 or 777 
or uh, even these broken ladders that actually had duplicate number in there, or even some of these date ones. It's the little, you know, out there, and, and that'd be really tough to try to find somebody that would really want that date. Yeah, I think, you know, they're cute to pull out, look at, but we're going to put them back in the stack. Not really going to need them for the collection. Now, for these star notes that we found, we can go to a website called mycurrencycollection.com, and it'll give you all the info on uh, your dollar bills, five dollars, whatever, for star notes. So let's go check that out. Now, for the first bill, we can see that uh, we can look at the bottom there, and it shows that it has three different runs, and our bill falls into the first run category. But that's still 3.2 million uh, notes were printed in that one. It's like, oh, that that's kind of kills the, the rarity of the bill. Um, and then there were two more runs after that. So if we look up towards the middle, it shows our note at the far left of that spectrum. So it's very common. Uh, there's, in that run, 3.2 million. You look to the right, a total of four mi over 4 million uh, notes were printed total. So definitely not that rare and it wasn't even in that great of shape but it's a keeper but you know nothing fancy you know maybe down the line might be able to get a few bucks for it five ten bucks maybe who knows so with the second bill we're looking at the bottom there was two different runs on this and each run was 3.2 million notes printed so again that's not that great for us um Looking at the spectrum in the middle, it falls on the very far left again, so it's more common of a bill. It was just one bill in 3.2 million and the total of 6.4 million. So again, it's a star note, so we'll keep it in the collection, but it's not going to pull too much uh, money from that from a collector. And our third star note bill. Oh, it comes in. This particular run was 3.2 million, and again, we're on the far left of that spectrum. So very, very common. And then they had so many different runs with a total of 22.6, 22.7 million notes printed for this series. So it's very, very uh, bad news for this star note. But again, it's a star note, we'll keep it, but probably not gonna ever get much for it. That was kind of fun going through there. It gave you something to do. Your eyes strain a little bit. But next time you're uh, you know, chilling at the casino, get some cash back as you change, you know, might as well take a peek at your dollars, your fives. See if any cool numbers pop up or maybe some numbers that'll actually pay you a little bit more than what the face value is just for going and buying something and getting some change. So anyway... This is Toothpick Ted, and I just want to say thank you for hanging out, and uh, stay safe out there, and have fun hunting your bills.